Good evening, people. Dawn coming to you guys from the shop with another episode of Two Talk Tuesday. And in today's episode, we're going to cover measuring tapes and how to use them, but more importantly, how to read them. Um, I get a lot of projects from people, and uh, you know, uh, you'll be surprised how many people do not know how to use a measuring tape. Um, so I'm just want to cover these bases with you guys. It's pretty simple. I'm going to show you the easiest way to read a tape measurement and uh, get you guys going in your woodworking or just taking simple measurements for things. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm taking the liberty to actually write out uh, how you will actually see it on the measuring tape, starting from, just to make it easier, starting from one inch to two inches. Now between each inch, you're gonna have what they call ticker marks, which are all of, the, all of these lines here. And you always have 16 ticker marks between an inch. Your shortest ticker marks will always be a 16th of an inch. So remember that, your shortest line will always be a 16th of an inch. Your second shortest tickers will always be one eighth of an inch. Your third shortest lines Ticker lines, ticker marks will always be quarters. And your longest ticker, ticker marks between an inch will always be one half. Okay. okay. Now, your sixteenths, they're always going to be odd numbers. Remember that. So you're always going to go one sixteenth, three sixteenths, five sixteenths, seven sixteenths, nine sixteenths. Because none of those numbers can be divided by two, four, eight. Uh, same thing with your, your eighths. So you're going to have your one eighth, your three eighths, your five eighths, your seven eighths. And then your halves, you know, just think about if you had a dollar. So you have one quarter, a half, three quarters, and then your whole. So now that we got through the actual numbers on the tape measurement, I'm going to just go through a couple of things to, uh, you know, get you guys familiar with how to use it and how it's set up and things of that nature. So, as you're looking at a tape, you have this tip here and then you have these three little rivets. Now, if you can, if you see, if you look real close, you see that there's some movement into that tip. Now... The tape isn't broke, it isn't loose, it's, it's actually designed this way because you have to account for, let's say if I was gonna take a measurement on a piece of wood, I could hook that piece on and pull it down. Now the reason that this piece is loose is because it has to account for this piece of the measuring tape. And that keeps your measurements accurate and on point. You can either hook it on if you're, if you're taking a measurement this way or if you're taking a measurement where you're pushing up against. So either way, that will keep your measurements on point. Also, measurement tapes, they come with, uh, with a stop at the top. So you can stop and take your measurements if you need be. Now also, if you look close enough at the tip, there's like a little slot, a little space here. That slot is for turning your measuring tape into a compass. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say I want to make a circle onto this piece of wood here, right? You easily just take, take your nail, put it in that slot, grab your piece of pencil, Just take it around, giving you a perfect circle. And uh, also there's another simple, simple little trick. Let's say if I needed to find half of this table. So I would just measure it out. Let's say this table is 75, 75 inches. What you do is you take the tip, tip of your measuring tape and fold it over to the 75 mark. The number that you have on the inside of your tape will give you the half mark. I know it's a simple parlor trick, but it works. 
And if you're anything like me, I don't like to do math all the time. So if it's easy, it's me. And that's it, people. So thanks for tuning in to Two Talk Tuesday. And don't forget to follow DNS Craftworks. And we will see y'all next week with another episode. Peace.